What is going on warriors and farmers of Tamaris? I am back again with another Call of Dragons video. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at the Artifact Throwback event. A brand new event that showed up with the Call of Dragons one year anniversary. This is hands down one of the best artifacts event in Call of Dragons. You need to be pulling for it because you're going to get something awesome. If you are still new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more content, turn on that bell notification and never miss out. Like the video, share it with your friends, leave some comments down below. Let's get into it. Alright Warriors of Tamaris, this is Season 2 T1. The game developers have introduced a brand new event in the game known as the Artifact Throwback. This is one of those events that's going to give you every single artifact that is available in the game. As you can see right now, these are the list of the artifacts that just show up in the Forge of Light. So we're going to start off with the instructions that come with this event. It's known as the Artifact Throwback. It says past season artifacts available for a limited time. So this is your chance to pick up what you missed out long time ago. Now here are the event rules. This event's artifacts compendium contains legendary artifacts from the current season and any previous seasons. You are guaranteed an epic or legendary artifact every 10 draws and a legendary artifact every 90 draws. So it's just the same with the regular artifact compendium, except there are so many artifacts available at your disposal. And then it also says you can draw from the artifact compendium up to 2000 times per day. So all those who have a lot of gems, now it's your time to shine. If you don't have a lot of these artifacts maxed out, this is your opportunity to get them. Now when you come over to the artifact throwback page, this is what it looks like. This is what everything looks like on the screen. When we click on the probability, you're going to see that there are some awesome artifacts here. Pretty much everything available in the game right now. What I like what I like about this event is that you don't get those useless artifacts here like the one for gathering and we have the Kurata. We also have the Breath of Something. I forgot the name. Let's check out the regular artifact compendium and see the artifacts that are missing from here. Another good reason to spin this compendium. So when we go to our regular artifact Universal Compendium, we click the probability. I'm going to show you the useless artifacts I'm talking about. We have the Ancient Tree Roots. It is not there. Lucius Horn. It is not there. What else? Um, there's another one here that people don't like. We also have the Kurata's Wrath. It is not in the artifact throwback. So this is some good stuff. Let's go back to the artifact throwback. Should be somewhere here. We click on it, we go back, and we go to the probability. You can see that all of those useless artifacts are not here. Even the stuff of the prophet is not here. Therefore, you have a very good chance of getting the best of the best in the game right now. And if you spin, you get pretty good artifacts. So it is awesome. So how does this event work? You have some extra rewards here on the side. If you spin 100 times, you're going to get this artifact choice chest. It's called season T1 choice artifact chest. So this is the main reason you should be spinning this event. You're going to get this chest and this chest is going to stay in your inventory. You can open it at any time you want. So I recommend you spin this event all the way up to 100. You get this chest and then you keep it in your inventory. In the future, you're going to open it for a specific artifact that you really want. Let's say, for example, next season, you do a lot of spinning and you have enough Mirage Orb already. So you don't want to pick the Mirage Orb right away right now. Let's say next season you want to spin for the Gold Crest. You don't need to pick the Gold Crest. You just wait in the future if you want to make your Gold Crest level 5. So I think this is a very good choice artifact chest to have in your inventory. You can just use it to take one of your artifacts to next level. Crazy. So this event is 100% worth it. To get to 100 spins, it's going to cost you 60,000 gems, unfortunately. But you are guaranteed at least 3 good artifacts. When you spin 10 times, you get the Steel Heart Avenger. When you spin 20 times, you get a Season T1 random artifact chest. And these are the artifacts that are included. Again. You don't have those useless gathering artifacts over here and there is no Korata as well. So this is awesome. 
you could get lucky and get the breath of the Yargantis. Unfortunately, I wasn't that lucky. I didn't get this one. You're going to see what I got from these pins. As you can see here, I have done 81 pulls already. So I'm going to show you the next 20. We're going to get this chest. And then I'm going to replay the video clip of me spinning previously to see what I got from this compendium. So that's how it is. I can say this event is 100% worth it. You should be going for it. Here are more instructions if you want to check them out. What does the scrap look like? Okay, so this is something different. So I need about 12,000 gems to get things done. Then we're going to do the spinning. All right, Warriors of Tamaris, if you ever plan on spending money in Call of Dragons, I would suggest you go and get yourself some Dragon tickets. That way, you can get some good value in the game. When you buy Dragon tickets, you're going to get 10% additional value. So these are the Dragon tickets that I bought so far. I got the full gold chest bundle. And as you can see here, I have surprise gift. These are the extra gifts that I got from buying that gold chest bundle. So you don't really want to miss out on this opportunity. We're going to go to the store and make some purchases by using the Dragon tickets. Make sure you get your Dragon tickets from the Pluto Mall. Just go to PlutoMall.com, register your account there, log into it, get some good stuff. We have the Change of Fortune event in the game. So I'm going to be getting some tickets from here. So here is the first Dragon ticket. Now the next Dragon ticket is over here. We get it again. We go to the third Dragon ticket. How many gems do I have? 11,822. I need about 12,000 gems for the event. So we're going to go get again and grab one more with the dragon tickets. Make sure you go to the Pluto Mall. You're going to get some extra value. Now the artifact throwback does not have any bundles in the game, unfortunately. So this is what everything looks like at the moment. All right, Warriors of Tamaris. I'm going to spin, I'm going to do two more pulls. That way I get to 100 and I get this juicy chest. I'm going to keep it. Then I'm going to show you guys my plans for the future with this chest. We go for the free one, see what we get. As usual, it's nothing good here. So I need a few more spins. So I'm going to draw 10. Let's do this. Not sure if I'm going to get anything right now. Let's hit confirm. I am at 92. Should I pull one by one? Nah, let me just pull the 10 and get it over with. So we pull another 10. Boom. Legendary? Nope, not legendary. Okay, and that's pretty much it, guys. I think this is as far as I go. Now we've got the chest over here. I'm going to claim it. Once I'm done here, I'm going to show you guys the pulls that I did before gonna add the video clip towards the end you can check it out if you want i got two decent artifacts i can't say they are the best but my luck wasn't that great so let's pull this chest and see what we get all right the juicy chest is in my inventory we go straight to the inventory we click over here as you guys can see here this is the chest it says season t1 choice artifact chest so I know some of you might want to get this chest and save it for the future. Unfortunately, I don't think they're going to add any more artifacts in here because they have labeled it as season T1. I don't know what the first season 3 is going to look like. So this choice chest might not have some new artifacts in the future. As you can see here, I can click whichever artifact I want. I'm not going to do it right now. Let's check out my artifact list. I have the Mirage Orb level 3. I could pull another Mirage Orb, make it level 4, but I think next season I'm going to spin for this artifact again, so I'm not going to pull it right now. My other option is going to be the Rado Spear. I could take it to level 3, but I'm still waiting to see if I'm going to get one extra gold crest. If I get one extra gold crest, that'll be level 2, and then I'm going to go back to the chest, pull another one, make it level 3. It's going to be viable it's going to replace my shadow blades so that is the plan for now so if i pull another gold crest anywhere anytime soon i'm gonna open this chest where is it 
is hiding somewhere here. Yep, I'm going to open this chest and use another gold crest. So that is the plan for the future. Who knows? Maybe they're going to change the season T1 and make it universal, especially in the future when they add new artifact. I hope those new artifacts are added in here. So I'm going to keep this chest for now. Now to talk about the chest, should you spin for this event, I think it is 100% worth it. Because you're going to get two excellent artifacts and then one choice chest. Something you can keep and pick a powerful artifact in the future. I think it is worth it. If you try to spend 60,000 gems in the Forge of Light, you're most likely going to get nothing good. But if you spend it here, you're going to get a guaranteed artifact and two other awesome artifacts in the process as well. I think this might even be better than the end of season 30,000 gems artifact pool for the anointed compendium when you capture the dragon. I think this might be better. With that one, you guarantee two legendary artifacts with 30,000 gems, but you don't know what you're going to get. But over here with 60,000 gems, you are guaranteed an artifact that you really, really want. And I think it is 100% worth it. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more content. Until then, we meet again in the next one.